G'day everybody, Daniel here from GI Energy. Today I wanted to talk to you about how much does a solar battery cost? Solar battery will cost anything from about $500 per kilowatt hour installed up to a little bit over $1,000 per kilowatt hour installed. There's a lot of between there, of course, and those are very approximate. So I'm gonna to talk to you in this video about how that, why that's such a big difference, what to look for in terms of cost, and then hopefully you'll have a really good overview of what you think you're gonna to have to spend to get a really good solar battery installed. So firstly, the biggest variable is that there are government subsidies now available to help you pay for a battery for your home or business. That battery subsidy is worth anything between a couple of thousand dollars all the way up to about $18,500. I say about because it does fluctuate a bit. It's based on the STC rebates. So STCs are small scale technology certificates. It's a government subsidy across the country and it pays for somewhere in the region of 30% of your overall battery cost. Now that that's in place, it obviously reduces the cost significantly. In addition to that, there's lots of different batteries out there that all carry different costs. So a more cost-effective battery um, is something like a, a SunGrow battery, for example, will be cheaper than if you went and bought a Tesla Powerwall 3, um, as another example, is a more expensive battery. So the cost of the battery is gonna depend on the type of battery you want, and then how you want that battery to behave in your home. So, the manufacturer is, is a massive variable. Um, not always representative of quality. You can unfortunately sometimes get charged more for a battery that might not be as good. So make sure you do your due diligence there and we can put some more information um, out on our channel about what to look for and the best batteries to choose. So look out for those videos. The other variable is of course your install. So the install cost can vary quite drastically. So if you went and had a a battery install that had a switchboard here on the garage wall with a solar hybrid inverter right next to it ready for a battery. Nice bit of space underneath with enough clearance either side to meet safety standards. No windows around so there's no um, other considerations there in terms of spacing and you can put the battery directly underneath your switchboard and right next to the hybrid inverter that's already installed. That's a really easy install. There's very little cable run if there's space in that board for additional circuit breakers, then there's no other boards potentially needed either. So that's a really easy install. On the flip side, if you've got a switchboard that's somewhere where you can't install a battery, there's no hybrid inverter. So now you need to add that in as well. You've got a long cable run, potentially a complex cable run that carries a significant labor cost to get a battery somewhere that meets safety standards. That's a big difference compared to the first scenario. So the install cost can vary significantly, which obviously then has a knock-on effect to that average kilowatt hour cost I gave you earlier. The size of the battery also makes a difference. So although we're talking per kilowatt hour, a smaller battery per kilowatt hour is gonna be a lot more expensive than a large battery, partly because of the install cost. So if you've got people there at your home and business installing and they're installing bigger batteries, a lot of them are modular, meaning that you've got to do all the work to install a small battery and then the other modules can be bolted on quite easily. So the cost to install additional modules when we're already there is a lot lower than it would be for the first one. So the size of the battery, you get the economies of scale basically by going bigger and that contributes significantly to the overall cost. So other factors um, outside of your install, the type of battery, obviously the government rebate that applies and the install costs um, and the size of the battery is, um, is who you buy the battery from. Um, there's some people will charge a lot more for the same thing, obviously. So you'll need to just be careful and, and do your due diligence there, choosing the correct installer. On that point though, the cheapest is not always the best. There's um, a lot of solar companies in Australia. It's actually quite a saturated market. And um, as with anything, the labor cost can be quite cheap if you're happy to sort of cut corners on installs and do things cheaply. So the cheapest installer isn't always the best installer. So make sure that if you're getting multiple quotes, you're doing your due diligence and asking how long that install has been around, checking the ABN, asking for insurances, reviews, testimonials, um, things like that, that you can really build up credibility around that company and make sure that you're really comfortable with them. That will affect your cost, but sometimes buying the cheapest is, is obviously not the best because you ultimately end up buying twice in the long run. Um, a solar battery should last you a very, very long time. 
you know, the warranties are 10 years, but um, that warranty is not obviously very good if it's not been installed correctly, because if the installer has done something outside of the install guidelines, it can, it can void your warranty, and then you end up having to buy twice. And then the cost per kilowatt hour for you, unfortunately, is, has gone through the roof because you've had to pay twice for that battery. To sum up, batteries are a lot cheaper than they used to be. Um, it wasn't that long ago that um, a thousand dollar a kilowatt hour for a battery was, was really, really cheap. Now we can do it obviously for half of that or even in some cases less. Um, if you do have a hybrid inverter installed already, then the cost can be a, a, a bit less even than that $500 mark um, because you've already got part of the hardware there. So your costs there could be significantly less than that. The, the low point of $500 a kilowatt hour I mentioned earlier was including additional hardware. So basically new inverter or an all-in-one battery with the inverter and battery charger built in. Um, so this was more of a holistic battery. So if you've got part of the system there, like a hybrid inverter already, it can be more cost effective and, and obviously cheaper again than to you as the end user. Larger commercial batteries, if you're looking at megawatt plus, you know, and, and you're looking at um, a, a significant commercial site and potentially energy trading, things like that, then there's other cost considerations there that can make that estimate vary quite a bit. Um, so that would be one that you'd really want to get a proposal for rather than go by this ballpark figure, um, because it can vary wildly um, for, for all those reasons that we've discussed in this video. Obviously with bigger systems, those variables are amplified. So find someone reputable that's uh, got some runs on the board commercially and, um, and find someone you can get in touch with to do a detailed proposal for you. Hopefully this has been helpful and um, hopefully we hear from you one day to, so we can do a proposal for you. Cheers.